So we're back in Adobe After Effects and this is going to be a very, very quick video, but hopefully very, very helpful because this is something that I use on a day to day basis. So what we're going to learn is the shortcut that actually allows you to expand different panels in After Effects. So actually create each panel full screen so you can actually work on your composition more easily. Cool. So without any further ado, let's actually show you the shortcut for how you can expand panels in After Effects. So one of the first essential things you have to do is actually make sure you have the correct panel selected. So as you can see, I've currently got this video panel selected because there's a blue box around it. But if I wanted to expand the timeline panel, all I have to do is left click on that panel. So the blue box is there. And of course, depending on which panel you have selected, that's the one that's going to be expanded. So in order to actually expand it, what you have to do is press the left quote mark on your keyboard. Now this might be slightly hard to find, but on a Mac computer, I'm not quite sure where it is on a Windows computer. It's just to the right of the furthest most left shift button. And it's on the same button as the tilde icon. So if you just press that, as you can see, it expands the entire panel to the entire screen of our computer. And if you just press on it once again, it undoes that. Now, if I wanted to expand this video panel, all I have to do is make sure that's selected, press the icon, and as you can see, it's now expanded to our entire software. If the video itself hasn't actually also expanded to the entire screen, what you can do is zoom in by pressing Command and Plus or Control and Plus for Windows. But as you can see, if this zooms in too far, the easiest way to actually make sure it fits your screen is go to the bottom here at the left, where it currently says 200% for me. It will probably say something different for you. Just press on that drop down and go to fit. And this will basically fit the video to the size of our panel. And once again, you can also undo that just by pressing the left quote mark button again. So this is great because you can obviously do it for any panel that you want. So you can actually work on it more easily and have a bit more space so you can actually see everything that's going on. Now, in order to actually customize your keyboard shortcuts, what you have to do is go to edit and then go to keyboard shortcuts. And as you can see, this brings up a panel which shows us all of the keyboard shortcuts in Adobe After Effects. So this is very handy because you can automatically see what's been assigned to what button. Now, if you want to be able to find the shortcut to anything in Adobe After Effects, all you have to do is search the term in here and it should show you the shortcut. So for example, if I type in pan behind, which is one of the tools that you use to center anchor points in any object in After Effects, as you can see, it shows us the application and then the shortcut. So this is obviously the tool, the pan behind tool for the anchor point, And then this is the shortcut for that tool. So this is just a great way to be able to filter through and see what the shortcuts to any of them are. You can actually go ahead and change the shortcut just by tapping on that and actually typing in something new. I'm not going to do that because I'm already quite familiar with all of the shortcuts, but it is an option if you're finding one of them particularly difficult to remember, or you just want to be able to make it a bit more easier for you to use. You can actually just also hold it in a button on your keyboard and just see whether it's assigned to anything. So for example, I'm holding down the option key at the moment, and I now know if I actually hold W at the same time, it's going to take me to the roto brush. So that's just an easy way to be able to find out what's actually assigned to any key on your keyboard. Great. So that was quite a quick video, but hopefully you managed to get something out of it and learn how you can actually expand those panels. It's a great and handy shortcut to know if you want to quickly be able to zoom in and focus on one particular detail, or if, for example, you have to quickly show something to a colleague or a client and you want to be able to bring up your video nice and big so they can see everything clearly. If you're interested in learning how you can actually apply motion blur in Adobe After Effects, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner of the end screen. And also do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and do remember to subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a new Adobe After Effects tutorial.